so let's see how I have made the changes and what are the changes earlier this machine was a RO uh, unit we have changed this to a UF plus UV unit now and of course there are pre filters what are the pre filters we will go through them one by one now uh, that's the spun filter uh, we are talking of pre now pre stage I also had to change uh, the input uh, what do you call this this is a new valve which um, is needed for the smaller wire or the tube so I change this so water goes into the spun filter from here the input comes and now we have the blue wire which is the input it goes into the carbon filter from the carbon filter it goes inside to the pump the pump uh, then pumps the water of course it goes through a solenoid valve before the pump solenoid valve is to uh, stop the water when there is no uh, current when there is no electricity um, or stop the water when the I guess when the auto stop valve says that uh, you know the tank is full now stop so solenoid solenoid valve stops the, the water coming in so and the auto uh, um, auto shut valve somehow communicates with the solenoid and the pump saying that uh, you know stop we don't have to uh, pump any more water and the tank tank is full okay those are behind you can't see them uh, after the pump pumps the um, water it goes into the sediment filter this is a sediment filter so that, that was carbon now it's come to sediment from the solenoid wall and the pump after the sediment filter it goes to the uf filter this is a housing this is the housing which has the uf filter after the uf filter it is going to the uv chamber so here we are doing ultraviolet filtration and then finally this is the output of the what you call as pure water purified water in the housing there is there are two outlets as you can see one is fresh down one this one is the reject water now had this been an RO membrane you would have continuous reject water but since this is a UF the reject water is blocked by this button or this uh, valve uh, time to time in about a week or so they advise that you need to flush this housing also for which is holding the UF so for that what we do is we just open up this reject water valve then like the RO reject water it starts coming out so you are flushing this housing otherwise there is no reject water from the uh, purifier which has UF right so this is pretty much about the various filters and uh, how I converted the RO into UF plus UV kind of filter a few more details the UF uh, UV sorry the UV uh, chamber needed a ballast also which is here this white one and that needed a uh, 24 volt uh, input now this black thing here that is the uh, it's the DC uh, it's AC to DC adapter and from 240 volts it gives out 24 volts so the pump and all these valves the two one I talked about solenoid and the auto stop plus the UV tube with the through the ballast they all work in 24 volts so what I did was I just looked at the output which is coming out from this adapter AC to DC adapter and uh, gave the input to the ballast and there is a particular way how you connect uh, the UV uh, chamber and the supplier will help you or the instructions are there uh, and uh, you know that's that's the little extra change 
and then if you are doing it yourself so by the way i did all of that myself so let's see uh, hopefully it'll work well and hopefully there'll not be too many leaks i have to monitor the leaks so uh, this is mainly plug and play you just have to get used to this quick connector it's pretty easy it's like a usb you know uh, plug in you just remember that when you're using the quick connect this is a quick connector you have to press this you know ring so when you press it down and then you pull it then it comes out otherwise this automatic lock system and to to you know plug it in you just have to push it deep inside and that's it and whenever there is a leak you know use the teflon tape like a lot of places i've used teflon tape and there are so many videos online where people are helping you uh, do this on your own uh, you know people are helping you how to maintain the various purifiers or there are even videos where they are telling you how to build your own purifier by buying several parts online all the parts links are also given in those various videos thanks